It's 823 on AM Tampa Bay, and we're joined right now by Dave, the IT guy. And uh, I want to talk a little bit about technology and emergency situations like this is right now. And Dave, I know one thing these days, people fear losing power and consequently they're unable to recharge their phones. Good morning, and that's exactly right. You know, in a situation like you guys are facing in Florida just this morning, you know, there are several things that you have to consider. One is, right, you may not be able to recharge your own device. The cell towers might go down because they lose power or their uh, backup generators don't work anymore. So there's a lot of things that could go wrong. Um, Initially, for your own devices, there are these little portable battery packs that you can purchase, fit in your purse, in your pocket, whatever, and those can recharge your cell phone anywhere from two to five or six times, depending on which model phone you have. So that's your first uh, backup plan is have a, a portable battery for your device. Now, in the instance that a cellular tower goes down and you can't get service or maybe there's too many people trying to use it, you can then go into uh, – the GPS locator type of devices, and they're not as expensive as people think. They're anywhere from $75 up to about $450. And at the $75 range, you can pre-program specific text messages that go out to specific numbers like 911 or two family members. And then when you hit a button, it sends them your location and a message with, I'm okay, or I need help, medical emergency, whatever. So there's a lot of options. And in a situation like now, you know, there are even some that have strobe lights so that if you're surrounded by water, it's easier for the rescue people to see you. How have emergency management officials been able to use previous storms in in past years to learn lessons and help them now where they can stay further connected with the community in times of a natural disaster? You know, a lot of these organizations have created so many uh, electronic methods. You know, you have E911 that can reverse call you and warn you about an upcoming problem. Um, They also have, uh, you know, you can tweet at them or text at them a specific number and give them a situation and they can respond to that. And then these type of GPS devices, uh, specifically one of the brand names is called Spot. Um, They've worked out a deal with that provider that if they receive um, a GPS message via their satellites from a certain jurisdiction, it automatically routes that message to their local call centers or their local response teams to be able to help in a much quicker way. So a lot of these organizations have certainly learned that you know people want to try to ride the storm out on their boat or in their house along the beach or whatever and, and realize that the phones are down, uh, cell phone services down, et cetera. And there's not many options to connect these people, and uh, the GPS connectivity using two-way texting is probably the number one method that they've really put in place and that the average consumer can start affording. Well, with the um, 5G network and the phones coming up, will that change anything to, to help us? Not really. You know, one of the things that people look at with 5G is like, hey, man, this is going to be such a great service, but we're still reliant on the one common denominator, and that's power. If the cell phone towers don't have power to operate or their um, their local generator backup service is not running for some reason and that tower is down, it, it doesn't matter. Anything else won't matter. If your cell phone can't talk to that tower, your cell phone is useless. It doesn't matter what app you have. Um, and chances are if the cellular service is down, you probably don't have internet service at home either because some cell phones can use the wireless in your home to connect an app to the internet and still work. Um, But the chances of if a cell phone tower is down, most likely your house is down from power as well. Yep, undoubtedly. And it's Dave, the IT guy, and the website is bringyourownsecurity.net. Bringyourownsecurity.net. And Dave, thanks for joining us on AM Tampa Bay. Thank you, and uh, stay safe, everyone down south.